premiere. I just feel like he could have helped me portray Mandy a little bit. He given me some better direction or something. I don't know, it just seemed like all the characters were kind of flat, undeveloped. All of them. I mean, I know it's just an amateur film in honor of the screen movies, but I just feel like we could have done a better job. Don't beat yourself up over it. I'm not, it's just, I feel like we accomplished something really awesome here. And we had a lot of fun doing it. But some of the people on the Scream fan sites are so mean. They just didn't understand the movie. They didn't understand that it's kind of supposed to be lame. Where are the stab movies when there's no Scream movies type of deal? The characters were following patterns already set out by the Scream movies. Ugh, insensitive know-it-alls. I could just... Ugh, forget it. They aren't worth my time. Just keep telling yourself that Stab 5 will be better. What do I have to look forward to? One whole flashback? Another chance to be harassed by all the 12-year-olds on Scream fan sites. Ugh, that's so upsetting. We worked hard, and I'm not an actress. Oh, I've sweetie. never done anything like this before. I know. I'm gonna go take a shower. We can continue this conversation later. Okay. from local teens but upsetting parents across America. The film has been available for free online viewing for just three weeks and parents are already protesting. Rihanna, you gotta see this! The movie has served as great publicity for the upcoming, much anticipated Screen 4, which is due to hit theaters on April 15th. For more on Step 4 and its controversy, tune in to the Morning Edition tomorrow at 6 here on Channel 9 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Kylie Scott. Talk about press. Woo! There you go. Unknown color. Here we go again. Hello? Hello. Yes? Who is this? Who are you trying to reach? What number is this? What number are you trying to reach? I don't know. I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. Ooh, this one's good. Right on time. Hello? I'm sorry. I think I dialed the wrong number. So, why'd you dial it again? To apologize. <sighs> You're forgiven. Bye now. Wait, wait. Don't hang up. Why? I want to talk to you for a second. Dude, I'm impressed. Whoever this is, good job. You know your shit. What do you mean? <laughs> Seriously. Dude, we're going line by line. The famous Drew Barrymore scene. I mean, I've been getting a lot of prank calls because of the movie, but you're the best yet. How many times have you seen Scream? A lot. Should we keep going? <laughs> you think you can beat me? I've done my horror movie research. I know pretty much everything there is to know. So let's go. It's your line. Here we go. They've got 900 numbers for that. See ya! Perfect. Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. I want it to be authentic. You're making popcorn? Uh-huh. Didn't you have enough popcorn at the premiere tonight? <laughs> That's not the line. Wait a minute, how did you know that the premiere was tonight? That was for the cast only. The public premiere was like two weeks ago. Who is this? Who do you want me to be? Someone else. Look, the game is over. I don't want you to call me again, okay? Wrong. The game has only just begun. You know the rules, I assume. I 
know all the rules. Don't say, I'll be right back. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. I know all the rules to stay alive in a horror movie. Fuck those rules. This is a new decade with new rules. Maybe a reboot or a remake. That's for you to figure out. Same game as always, though. Horror movie trivia. Get it right, live. Get it wrong, well, you know the rest. For real, stop fucking with me. My roommate is home and- And in the shower. She'll never hear you scream. Time to play. Seriously, dude, I'm like five seconds away from calling the cops. They'll never make it in time. The police station is on the opposite side of town. What do you want? To see what your intestines look like. You're not making this very easy. I'm trying to give you and your roommate a chance to live, to be in the fucking sequel. But you have to play my game. If I play your fucking game, will you leave me alone? If you get the question right, sure. How do I know you're not lying? You don't. Ready to play? Fine. Who directed the 2009 remake of Last House on the Left? I know this one. I'm waiting. Wes Craven, the master of horror, my all-time favorite movie director. Afraid not. That's a wrong answer. Wes Craven directed the original. You know what that means. Hey, whoa, calm down, killer. What's going on? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. I just... Another prank call. I don't know. This time it got to me. Sorry. It's all right. Seriously though, you look scared. Let me go blow dry my hair and, and I'll come back and chill and we can crack open a box of wine. That's fine. You don't have to. You can go to bed. Really, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Go have dreams about fighting off the angry YouTube villagers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well if they call back, just ignore them. They're not worth your time, all right? I will. Good night. She gave you a good scare, huh? You should have seen your face. You can see me right now? Uh-huh. Sure can. What am I doing? Huh? What am I doing? That is rude. Where are you? Right outside your door. Not that original, I know. But we'll just call it a homage to Scream. I call your bluff. Can you see me? I'm right here. You had me for a second. Like I said, you're the best prank caller yet, but I don't believe you. See? Dial someone else, okay? Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh! <laughs>